Free to succeed. Uh, season two, Great Shadow Legends. We're having a rough go edition today. <laughs> having a rough go of it today. I don't know if you can tell. I haven't I haven't checked the camera to see how, how if you can tell my lip my upper lip is. Well, I think George beat me up when I was sleeping. <laughs> I got a headache. My neck's all fucked up. My lip's swollen. And she beat the shit out of me, dude. <laughs> Yeah, we're having a rough day. Oh, if, if I hadn't just had vacation and yesterday said we're, we're like back or however long ago, uh, I, would, I probably would have taken a day off, but I don't want to keep saying I'm back and then taking days off. So we're just going to power through it and and make it work. Um, yeah, man, I don't I don't know what's going on with my lip. I don't know if it's just a, a bump in a really inconvenient place. I think the swelling has gone down since I woke up, but it was like it was real jacked up when I first got up. I was, uh, I was uh, shaving. And so a few, a couple weeks ago, the guard on my clippers broke. I used to use the guard to keep a little bit of facial hair. Like I like the length it is when I use the guard. Well, the guard broke. No idea how, it was just broken one day when I opened the cabinet. So I've been having to shave straight clippers to the face. It's like a manscaped thing, right? Um, And I think it's wearing out. It's not charging right. And then like it, it sliced my lower lip pretty deep. I don't, I don't know. Again, I don't know if you can see it. I have it. It's on this. Side. I don't you probably can't see it, but I cut my lip, which it's a, it's a it's a electric clippers. It's not supposed to do that, but it sliced my lip up pretty bad. But that's my lower lip. So I don't know how that would have affected my upper lip. I've had a little bump right here for a couple of days. It's been sore. And I guess last night it was just like, you know what? I'm getting big on them. So now now my lips all swollen. It just feels a little weird. And then my neck, one of the, you know, sometimes you just wake up and your neck's all jacked. But I woke up throughout the night and my neck was jacked. So I guess the first way I fell asleep was just not a good way to fall asleep. And it screwed up my sleep. Now it still hurts real bad. It's giving me one of those headaches that comes over the top of your head and like right, right above your eyes. So there's my little complain session for uh, a couple minutes. <laughs> Just so you guys know what's going on, all right? If you're like, man, he seems weird or off today, or wow, his lip is jacked. Now you know everything I know about it, all right? So um, anyway. And it's like numb. It feels weird when I drink coffee. Um, Anyway, we finished, well, not finished, but we got tier six masteries on Maneater and Painkeeper. Um, I, I do still want to finish these. I would like him to have the counterattacks. I think that would be helpful. Uh, but we got tier six on him. And then Painkeeper as well. We just got tier six on her this morning, right before this video. We, we, we got our last few runs in. So again, I don't think it's as important that I finish her. I don't think it's really important that I finish her. Um, ugh. and we, then we went ahead and geared them up. So I've got them, I've got them in the speeds they need to be in. And then I, I waited to level up some of it because there was an artifact enhancement about to start. Um, and man eater's pretty much good to go, but every, everything here can be maxed without danger of messing up his speed. So everybody, so their, their speeds should be fine. So now I need to actually open up the page and see what kind of speeds we're looking at for I think stun targets like 129 if I'm not mistaken yes stun targets 129 DPS is um, 179 to 185 and 187 to 189 so let's see what we what we've already got working here Thane 150 I mean, we can get her a little more speed max in those boots. She is not in the appropriate gear, though. So let's go ahead and just remove everything she's wearing. Because I don't think any of it is what we're after. And we, we do want her to have accuracy. Oh, man. 
Have I done her masteries yet? That's going to be really disappointing if I haven't. I have. All right, good. Good man. Okay, so we'll probably want to go accuracy banner. So we can go ahead and get that put there. Hopefully with some speed. This could be really good. Like a double in speed and one in attack percentage would be too dope. I'll take that too, though. That ain't, that ain't bad. Okay, so we can go ahead and equip that one. Um, let's do... Her... Amulet. If I don't do that, do I have a six-star one? I do. Maybe I'd rather have the extra crit damage. We'll just throw that there for now. Although that's got a, that's got an opportunity to hit accuracy at twelve. There you go. So now, and I can't. I know there's a little bit of nuance to this. I'll give her that one. As far as their... Is this the one where, it, like, it matters? HP of stun target should be the highest of the team, but not more than 125% of pain keepers. Pain keeper should be second highest HP. So we may have to revisit pain keeper. and then super low defense on the stun target. Let's look at Painkeeper real quick. Painkeeper I have at, that's gonna be pretty reasonable when I, when I max her stuff. We can glyph her, we can glyph some of that if we need to, so that should be fine. Okay, so back to Fang. Where's Fang? Okay, so we want her to eat. I mean, honestly, for now, anywhere between 179 and 189, just not 186. <laughs> and there's even more wiggle room because I have a bunch of glyphs. So we want damage. So. Savage isn't going to do us much good there. Let's kill stroke. I think all these are good tank pieces, though. Yeah, it's, well, that one's decent, but I don't have a match for it, so. All right, how about... Maybe? Maybe. Probably not. Mm -hmm. I'm doing on crit damage. Okay, that's, I mean, almost certainly something she's going to be wearing. Attack and crit damage. How are we doing on speed? You know what would be cool? And what I think I managed to do the first time I ever built this team was keep her on attack boots and still have her in the speed range. Looks like we're going to be limited here, though. That helmet is not awful. What are you, what are you going to do? Are you going to double up on that flat HP? No. Give me a speed. So we're at 50 crit rate. We need 50-ish more speed. No, not specifically 50, but anything around 50. So. If we could put her in an attack set, or a speed set rather. 
it starts to look a little bit more doable. We're gonna need some accuracy though. We, we're, we're, we're not getting much accuracy. So maybe a perception set. It's gonna have to be a really good perception set though. We might have to revisit this. Attack with double crit rate and accuracy. I think that's a 12. Oh, you're such a big head, dude. Um, no crit damage. You know, this might be an instance where we, we take some gear off some people. Because this is important. It's important that we get this sorted. So we could use a little bit more speed. We're going to need more accuracy too, though. So let's let's revisit a little bit. Do we have a good crit rate speed combo anywhere? Not really. That weapon stand for sure. That weapon is non-negotiable. That, that's that's her weapon. That puts us at one seventy. Plenty of glyph glyphability here. Um, she might have to be my lower range. But I can get her to 179. You know what I mean? I just don't know what to do about that accuracy. That accuracy is a bit low still. I'm going to get a little more from the banner. Thank you. That's helpful. I can't roll that while it's on. Well, we can equip it. There's no punishment for equipping it right now, so let's just do that. And then we'll take that up. Two thirty-nine. That's also glyphable. That's that's also very glyphable. So right now, she's at one seventy. So let's hit her. I mean, we got plenty of these. There's 173. I don't, I don't have as many speed subsets as I thought. We might need to force some good rolls here. Are you kidding me right now? All right, I think we, all right, so that, what, what are we at now? 177. That's already got a four. Okay, so we, we hit another four here. We're good. GG. Go ahead and hit her with an accuracy because we're going to, we know we're going to want to do that. Don't minimum roll me, dude. 256. All right, over the threshold, we're good. So 181, well within the range. Decent attack, decent enough crit rate. Crit damage, we can max some of this and get our attack and stuff up. Okay, and she is also skilled up. All right, she's ready to roll. Um, For the other, I was considering Rathalos. Who is actually 
close to being usable here, I think. He's at 173. I need to get him to 187. So 14. Where do we have speed? There's the speed. There's a the speed. Not enough. Damn it. Damn it, dude. It's just attack with double crit rate. I don't have to keep that one there. We could get a good attack chest with another speed sub. That would give me one. Man, I can't believe how few sub sets he's got. Head gummit. I thought we were going to get out of this easy. Don't you have to disable something on him? The speed buff. I think I have to disable his A3. Ugh. Yeah, I think I disabled A3. And then, dude, if we if, if I could get a stun target with an HP burn, that would be pretty interesting. Alright, so chess piece attack percentage, crit rate, and speed. Oh, that's such a bummer to look at. That puts me at... Does that put me one speed over? No, no, no. That puts me right in range. Puts me right in range. Okay. I'm glad I didn't glyph. I almost, I almost glyphed this. Preemptively. I'm glad I didn't. Okay. Well, technically he's in the range. So... We'll try it. Can this be set up with AI? Actually, I'm not sure if I can use him unless I want to manual the whole run now that I think about it. I don't think I can. Unless I can, unless I can set his AI, set the run up manually and hit auto, and then it'll, I guess we'll have to test that out. If not, I'll just swap his armor back. It's not that big of a deal. And then a stun target at 129, preferably one with HP burn. Let's try this. HP buffs, HP burn. Bulwark. Will it work with him being void? Maybe only on void? Bulwark would be a cool one. When 
Facing affinities, the stun, stun target ideally should be the weak affinity. So I'm going to need a few stun targets. Or there should be no weak affinities. Can it be done with Void? I guess I should use someone that's already done. I'm gonna have to do masteries on whoever it is, regardless. I don't want—I don't want to strip down my artech for this. I'm probably gonna want to use Drex for other things. For the stun target, I reckon we need to sort out. But I think. My other four are good to go, short of having their gear maxed out. I think my other four are ready to roll. Man, I, I think I would I would really like it to be him. I think that would be interesting. He's got an HP burn, and then he's got this, which would just keep debuffs up, help us keep debuffs up. That would be cool. But I don't know how hard it is to make a void stun target. I feel like I used Rowan. Didn't I use Rowan as a stun target network? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of research on that. And if that's if that's viable, I'll start building him. Because I think that would be dope. Um I think that would I think that would be dope. So we're going to wrap this one up here today. I guess I guess this is part one of starting to build our clan boss team. But like I said, I think I think today I'm going to try to sort out whether or not I can use Bulwark. If I can, I'll figure out another plan of attack, maybe get them built. And potentially tomorrow we do some testing. Maybe maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we get to we get to try to set this up and see if we can't start hitting Ultra Nightmare. So. We're this close, guys. This close. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here for today. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll uh, see you tomorrow.